Part of the reason why we need Christ's obedience is because we don't have obedience on our own that we need. The Bible tells us we've all sinned. We've all sh- uh, fallen short of the glory of God. We've all disobeyed. This, by the way, going back to parenting, this is why it's so important to teach your children obedience because they have to see that they can't obey so that they'll see that they need a Savior who did obey. We've all sinned. Nobody's going to get to heaven on the basis of their own obedience. All of our obedience is flawed and marred by sin. We've all disobeyed at times. We are sinners, and we cannot be right with God on the basis of our own obedience. If, like me, you grew up in the church, and maybe even a certain type of church, you know the song that there are a lot of ways you can't get to heaven. You can't get to heaven on roller skates, for instance, because you know what will happen? You'll roll right by those pearly gates. Well, on that list as well is you can't get to heaven on the basis of your own obedience. We're sinners. And, and we need an obedience that goes beyond anything that we can provide. We need the obedience of Christ. We need His righteousness imputed to our accounts. We need to get credit for the righteousness of somebody else. In particular, our Savior, Christ Jesus. We need Christ's obedience in our place. And not only do we need Christ's obedience in our place, we we also need a Savior who was so obedient that He was willing to obey to the point of dying on the cross. We need a Savior who's willing to die so that we could be atoned for. In other words, the obedience of Christ is at the heart of some of the most important doctrines in all the Christian faith. The obedience of Christ is at the very heart of the gospel. And when Jesus, in John chapter 18 began to take these steps towards the cross, He showed us what this ultimate obedience looks like. Philippians chapter 2, verse 8 says, And being found in human form, He humbled Himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Jesus obeyed to the point of death. He did that, and He did that for sinners just like us. And as we study John chapter 18 this morning, we see that obedience unfolding before us. 